In today's video, let's talk about some LEGO Star Wars set ideas for the first three episodes of the Andor TV series. Let's get into it. So you guys, welcome back everyone to another LEGO Star Wars video. In today's video, we'll be going over some set ideas for the first three episodes of Andor, and also giving you guys kind of my first initial thoughts and review of the series so far, and kind of just my thoughts overall on Star Wars. So definitely stay till the end. I'm going to do the set ideas first, and then in the back half of this video, I will give my Andor review. You know, I do this set idea series for pretty much every series that's come out. I actually did not do one for uh, Kenobi now that I think about it, but uh, really nothing much going on in that show. That show was very underwhelming in my opinion and when I usually do these I, I like to bundle them up in about a three or four episode period you know for Bad Batch I did every four episodes for this series I'll do every three episodes it kind of worked out perfectly since there was three in one night and uh, let's just say guys Disney did not uh, you know give me a layup for this uh, video at all since uh, these first three episodes uh, just right off the bat not too much going on so uh, for set ideas I'll be straight up honest I'm gonna only go over a couple of them really quickly and uh, my personal opinion I only think they're really the best but I'll give you my quick thoughts on those and then we'll move on to the actual review of the episode. So actually what I wanted to do here first guys was kind of give my, my full review of the 75338 ambush on Ferrix. I just want to give my quick little thoughts on the set now that we pretty much saw it uh, you know, in the TV series. You know, although I don't think we've exactly seen this scene yet, I think that'll take place next episode. But I gotta be honest, I really do like that, uh, you know, kind of police gunship thing a lot more now. I still think the set is severely overpriced by at least, you know, 10, 20 bucks. But I think overall, guys, I'm not gonna lie, now after seeing this series and seeing this stuff in action, uh, I really do think this is gonna be in my radar now. I'm definitely gonna wait for a sale, but, uh, you know, once it gets 30% off or so, I might actually pick it up and build it when the, you know, but say three months ago when it first got revealed, you know, I was never gonna get it at all. You know, it was literally a zero out of 10 in my book. But now I gotta say it's probably like a 7 out of 10 in my book. You know, I think they did it pretty well. I think the scaling of the gunship is fair now that we saw the TV series. Uh, you know, it fits about, you know, four or five dudes in the back there. It's realistically not the size of, say, a Republic gunship. So overall, guys, that's my quick thoughts on that now that we saw the series. You know, I guess that kind of just proves that, you know, first impressions are usually always uh, skewed a little bit. Uh, you know, whether they're good or bad. Uh, you know, when you finally get to really know them, or, you know, in this case, know the, uh, the set more. Uh, and actually know the content is based off more, uh, you know, your opinion can change. So there's that guys. Next up I will give off I guess kind of two quick set ideas. You know, the first one being Stellan Skarsgård's uh, character, I I'm blanking on the name right now, but I uh, have his ship, you know, he kind of was flying a, I'm not gonna lie, it almost looked like a Inquisitor Scythe. Uh, mixed with like a U-wing a little bit in my opinion. So, uh, you know, whatever you know, model that ship that is, I'll definitely put it up on the screen. Uh, you know, if we see it more throughout the series, we can maybe see one of these eventually. Uh, kind of, you know, put it out like the, you know, the U-wing, like the Scythe, you know, make it like a 60 to 70, maybe even a $100 set. You know, include his minifigure again, and or and realistically whoever else has been on the ship throughout the series. So there's that guy. Second off, uh, one thing I kind of got a little idea based off of, uh, you know, personally, I wouldn't really care about this, but I kind of revolving around the hover tank set that came out for Rogue One, uh, something like that little speeder that they use as the decoy. Uh, that kind of gave me a little bit of a, you know, throwback to that scene in Rogue One, where they could use that speeder and then have, you know, say two or three of those police dudes and, uh, you know, say and or whatever in the set. But realistically, that's not really anything too crazy. Uh, both those, I don't think they'll ever do. You know, like I said, Disney really did not throw me a bone for these first three episodes. And, uh, you know, I wanted to do this series though, you know, that's the thing. Like, I don't want to break up this series and not do one for these first three episodes. So I know this is kind of a, a uh, nonchalant video right here. So on that note, guys, let's move on to my Andor review so far and kind of get into what I'm thinking about Disney Star Wars as a whole right now. So my initial Andor review is I really did not like it. I'll be 100% honest. Uh, you guys know me. Rogue One is my second favorite Star Wars movie ever. Uh, it goes Revenge of the Sith, Rogue One, and then the Return of the Jedi for me. The three R's, in my opinion, are the best three uh, Star Wars movies. And, uh, you know, this, for what it's worth, it gets the Rogue One vibe across. And it's not that I don't think the show is good. I think it's produced well. I think it looks great. But in my opinion, these first three episodes, now you really see why they put three episodes back to back. You know, if they just released that first 30 minute episode, and especially even the second one, imagine two weeks back to back with that the only, I mean, this show would get the, the worst press in the world, uh, you know, just for being an underwhelming show. So now you really know why they put that third episode on the end. Because I'll be honest, that's why this video is coming out on Friday and on Wednesday. It took me two days just to get through the first two episodes. Uh, you know, I'll be honest, I watched like the first, uh, I watched the first episode very quickly uh you know right when it came out second episode i got 10 minutes into it i'm like is this gonna be the same thing as the first and uh i'm serious it took me about 10 different times of just stopping and starting it before i finally finished it and then episode three uh you know actually turned out pretty good um you know got a little bit of action just finally progressed the story it looks like now we're actually moving into what we want to move into and my biggest thing with something like andor is 
you know, it's hard to judge only 25% of the series, you know, and kind of give the overall impression since we haven't seen the rest yet. Uh, but I'm, I have high hopes for this series. I really do. I think the trailer looked fantastic. I can't wait until we start seeing some actual political stuff. I'll be honest, you know, it, it, the Star Wars politics has always been a favorite for me. That's why I really do like the prequels, honestly. And I do like a lot of the Clone Wars arcs that really revolve around politics uh, because it's just cool. You know, for what it's worth, it's way different than... Uh, you know, the US and the, and the real world politics. So that's my Andor review. I don't think it's going to be a bad series per se, but it's definitely a little lackluster so far. So let's hope it gets a little bit better. And my overall thoughts on Disney Star Wars right now, I'm going to keep this very, very short, is uh, I got to be frank with you guys. I don't know what they're doing. You know, so if I were to take just the first three episodes of Andor, you know, take Kenobi, take Book of Boba Fett, I got to be honest with myself, I think Book of Boba Fett is my favorite series out of the three so far. Uh, Kenobi, that thing is it, it, in the trash, in my opinion. That thing. So I think Kenobi will always be on the bottom for me. I think it's only better than probably Visions and Resistance. I think those are the only two series is better than. Everything else, in my opinion, every season of everything else is way better than that. Kenobi, I just personally want to forget about. It was one thing for Boba Fett to kind of mess up like a B-grade character such as Boba Fett. But when you start getting, you know, Darth Vader, Anakin, you know, Obi-Wan in there, basically the two main characters of Star Wars, two A-list characters in Star Wars, and you mess them up that badly, that's just not acceptable in my opinion. And, and again, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see a lot more of this, you know, like when the actual stuff comes out. I do a lot of reviews. You know, it's a lot of controversial opinions, I guess, but uh, that's just my, my honest thoughts. And uh, I won't go too much farther than that. Again, I don't want to spark anything too crazy. I don't want to say the wrong stuff. I mean, you know, I've got some strong opinions on some stuff, and I know it's a lot of, you know, toxic controversy around the internet right now. You know, if you don't like this, you're that. You know, if you do like this, then you're one of these people, you know, stuff like that. And in my honest opinion, you just got to look at it in the guards of like, just because I don't like something doesn't mean I'm mad that you like it. Uh, you know, same thing with like vegetables. You know, I think all of us could probably say we don't mind having some vegetables with our meal. But, uh, you know, there's always that one vegetable, say Brussels sprouts, where it's like, you know, we might eat the Brussels sprouts. Like, just like we'll watch a TV show. Like, we'll watch it, you know, sure. But doesn't mean we'll enjoy eating those Brussels sprouts or, you know, say watching a show like Kenobi. So, all right, guys, so I'm editing this right now. And I wanted to address this comment uh, that just came in about 24 hours ago from BBP Studios, which he comments a lot. Lot, which i appreciate it man if you're watching this no hate towards you at all i mean i just wanted to kind of address this comment even more publicly than just replying uh, he said not gonna lie i haven't heard you say something positive about star wars in forever uh, you say boba fett was too fast but also say that andor is too slow it's been three episodes of 12 literally just set up the characters and story it's like when will it ever be good enough so i replied back and this is what i'll say right here guys you know to everyone that you know messaged me on instagram comments on my videos comments on my instagram post and says, you know, when are you ever happy? You know, what do you like from Disney Star Wars? Which, again, everyone's got their own opinions. You know, if I didn't like any single thing from Disney Star Wars, that shouldn't be a problem to any of you guys. But I did reply back, and this is the truth. Everything I like from Disney Star Wars, I like Rebels Season 1 through 4, Mandalorian Season 1 and 2, the vibe of Bad Bash, but not the execution. I liked how it was, you know, an animated 16-episode show. The execution was not perfect. I did like Clone Wars Season 7, Episodes 5 and 6 of Bo Book of Boba Fett. You know, the the flashback in Kenobi in episode I believe that was four uh, the solo movie I did like that actually Force Awakens was pretty good and uh, lastly especially Rogue One so uh, all of that you know Disney content uh, you know that I do personally kind of enjoy or really enjoy and uh, I'm like I said I'm pretty sure that's at least two-thirds of what they made so that's my quick thoughts on that guys I don't hate everything Disney Star Wars they have potential to make good stuff but they're really dropping the ball lately it seems like uh, in my opinion, guys, that's everything for this video. Uh, kind of a you know all over the place video, but I wanted to start the series off, get a few ideas out there, get my you know review out there. So uh, next one coming out, you know, three weeks from now. I'm hoping the next three episodes will have a lot more stuff going on, a lot more action, a little bit of new stuff that we can make some uh, you know set ideas on. And without further ado, guys, that's all for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for you guys later. Bye, guys, and stay safe.